managing ma many meetings that don't go well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, members were, were assembled again to transact business of mutual benefit. Do not let uh, jealousies and trivial personalities influence our deliberations. Let us uphold always the obligations of unselfish uh, comradeship and loyalty to our organization and to the town of Cohasset. Uh, Madam Secretary, do we have a quorum? I don't think we do. One, two, three, four, five. Six, Oh, yes, we do. Okay. I now right. declare this uh, Cohasset uh, Council on Aging oh, CEA uh, duly open for a transaction of uh, business. Oh. Uh, you have to write that down? No. Um, but I'll try to do that at every meeting. Um, okay. We do have a quorum. Oh, I did want to, uh, let, let's go over the agenda first to see if there's any changes. Is everybody comfortable with the agenda? Okay. If there's no other issues, we'll move forward. Um, one thing here, I had the Board of Directors introductions. We won't be doing those because uh, our new member is in Vermont. So uh, she'll be new. Do we have uh, Marsha, Marsha Sylvia. She oh, is. Bob's wife? Yeah. Oh. No, no, uh, no, cousin, I think. Oh, cousin. Actually, Rich uh, Car um, Sylvia used to be involved in the veterans, and he was involved with me in CERT. Uh -huh. uh, and I played bocce with Marsha every, Marcia every week. So, oh, OK. Uh, Diana knows Marsha. Yep. Oh, there's Diana. Hi, Diana. Hi, Diana. How are you? Diana. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for a repair. Tomorrow. Tomorrow she gets <laughs> they told me she could come to the meeting, but that they'll approve her officially tomorrow. Okay. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to mention that Diana agreed to stay on as vice chair. Right. So yes. We're all set with that. Yay. 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 Diana. So Marsha Silva's coming on tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, she gets approved tomorrow. And then she'll be at our next meeting in September. And she is not a voting. She's an associate. Associate. Okay. Associate. So we're trying to fill the fill the seats. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, okay, if we can go over the minutes from last meeting then. Yeah. And I did have some questions on that. <laughs> Rich, what did you just do to your glasses? Just Snap. come on. Never saw oh, those. My you think he's like a magician? 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 1827. The <laughs> <laughs> Ben Franklin originals. Yeah. yeah. There's Sorry. No way you can break those. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I had a question on the minutes. Um, what was it here? Oh, on the van. Uh, Paul's not here. Have we have we ordered the van? No. No. Okay. Where do we stand on that? What happened? Uh, we just got happen? the. We heard from the state that we have been approved for it, and they said that they would follow up with additional information. And I have not heard anything. Who's further. they? The town or the state? The state. The state. That's oh, even better. So, hi, Tabby. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Hi, Taffy. Hi. Okay. So, are we getting the same thing? What uh, transit? Uh, uh, I have yet to find out what they do. I don't know if they send information to us and say go to this lot and pick it out, or if they say this is the only thing that's available to you. I'm not sure. So once I get that information, I'll share it. Good. And we'll figure okay. out if it's the same. It should be what I'm thinking would be the same one as the wheelchair accessible van. That seems to work out really good. Just an updated model. Okay. Now, uh, Elaine, are we, the money, we have access to the money, right? Is that access forever until it, this shows up or how, what happens? I suspect so because they've allocated it into our department funds. They've set up a separate fund for it, a line item. And it's been there since what, 22? Um, since the town meeting, it was voted in. Um, Nancy, have you heard anything as to whether or not, I mean, I just assume they'll scoop the funds when they use it. We don't, you know, have physical access to any funds. It all goes through town hall. So, I mean, we don't. As far as I, I think I asked um, they can pull it. Paul that last time, and he said we should be able to just say, um, tell the uh, tell the town, tell, I forget which department. 
I capital that we're using that money now because it's come through. Okay. And, and if it takes it, two years? He seemed to think it was because okay. it was given to us that we're good with that. Good. We don't have to redo it. All right. I'm sorry, Miss. Did we get some good word on this? Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> last month we heard that it did go through, so we got the approval um, for the new van from the state. Um, we're just now waiting to hear what the details are. So Nancy, will you be the one that contacts capital budget to let them know that we will be using those funds? Or if, just that, if that's the proper channels, I guess I'm going to need some help maybe from Paul or, or from Rich to find out if we even need to do that, what the next step is. I don't know. Well, we're going to wait for the state to Let's get official. Wait, yeah, we're yeah. going to wait okay. to see yeah. what, I, what we need to do as far as taking out a van or, or what, but then I will do whatever needs to get done. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions on the agenda? I mean, on the minutes? Can we approve them? I make a motion to approve. Thank you. Second. Any discussion on the minute on the motion? On the motion? On the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, then on the treasurer's report. Oh, by the way, I'm glad that you do the summary. Yeah, I got the entire, I think it was 20 pages oh. of every penny that's ever spent in oh. this place in the last year. <laughs> and I just, I was, I was scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And as I've said to, um, I think it was Nancy, just Nancy and Bridge, you know, if anybody would like to see the numbers presented in a different way or would like to have the verbal presentation presented in another way with additional information, <laughs> less information, just let me know. This is a living document. Uh, should be changed all the time or reviewed all the time. So please uh, speak up if you want to see something different. But with respect to the June 30th numbers, um, I hope you have a copy to uh, refer to. They are preliminary. So, and that means, you know, with any fiscal year end, um, adjustments are expected to be made by the Town Finance Committee Department. All the adjustments should be completed by the end of this month. A final June year-end report reflecting all adjustments will be provided at our next board of directors meeting. The preliminary report that you have a summary of reflects an unexpended general fund balance as of June 30th of 22,735. That of that 22,193 represents unexpended payroll and only $542 is unexpended other expenses. Uh, we are expecting, as we've talked about, a, a payroll accrual adjustment to record payroll earned during June, but not paid until July 6th. This happens every year. I estimate that adjustment is gonna be about 12,000. The remaining unexpended payroll appropriation um, is going to be, I expect, will relate to the van driver expense, which we've also discussed previously. So no surprises there. Any questions with respect to that? Under the grants, we have a um, fund balance of 31,000, the total fund balance is 31,557. The formula, Fund is 24,327 and copper is 7,231. The majority, obviously, of the receipts and the expenses relate to formula during the year ended. Uh, revolving fund, the uh, receipts at the end of the year exceeded expenses by 1,306. The fund balance is 18,374. Gift accounts. Um, the expenses, primarily social worker payroll, our total gift fund balance at June 30, 30th is 58,028. Our unrestricted gift fund balance is third. I'm sorry, it was 58,028, if I didn't say that. Our unrestricted gift fund balance is 32,937. And then we have that 66,000 we just discussed relating to the van that was appropriated to us back in May of 20, July 1, 2022 is when they booked that. Questions, comments? That um, unrestricted 
Um, are the unused van driver, does that money go back to the town? It does. Yeah. And that's consistent year to year. We've always yeah. had it right. overage in that line item. Yeah. What? Uh, one second. Um, having seen the entire report, I've been scared to death. I'm relying on you to tell us if it's time to hit the bomb shelter. You know, <laughs> we'll do, Rich. Okay, as long as everything's moving in the right direction, I'm relying on you to. <laughs> okay, no. Because I'm not going through that report again. That's right. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's, That's right. All right. And, and boy, do I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, That's a big box. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. If we uh, can we take a motion on accepting the treasurer's report? So moved. No, uh, a motion. Did you make a motion? Tentative. I'll move that. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion on the motion? On the motion? On the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Ayes, ayes have it. Okay, the director's report. All right. Well, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know, I know last year was the first time that we started, uh, we got ARPA funds from Social Elder Services. <laughs> I think it was funneled through the, the um, federal government to social elder services and they gave us money so we could use it for any um, nutritional need um, for, um, for food or any uh, basically uh, any food insecurity for seniors so we are going to use that money once again this year uh, for farmers market coupons uh, it worked really well last year people absolutely loved it and thank you to Eleanor and the Cohasset Farmers Market for working with us on being able to, um, to design this um, voucher that we give to uh, people we know who are in need of um, fresh, healthy food. And they use it at the farmers market. They they get it turned into the, um, the manager's office at the farmers market, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And then is that the hot dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> the farmer's market for uh, for those vouchers. So it works out really well and uh, just wanted you all to know we'll, we'll be doing that again. Um, and they, it's last throughout the season. Uh, as I mentioned last month, I just wanted to reiterate that it's going to be official um, for September. In September, we're, we're going to have to start um, notifying people, but um, the to-go meals will be increased by a dollar. Um, it was It is currently $4. It's going up to $5. And the other... Um, Dining in will be four dollars. Still, on that, um, the Jim mentioned last time that, that some of the chefs are putting their own money into the pot to get a nicer meal. Uh, uh, we have funds for that, right? Absolutely, and that is not something that we uh, encourage or that we expect. So we always expect the, and this is, and I did bring that up to Liza after last month, and she said every chef should know, and she's reiterated that. You go to the store, you bring us the receipt, we reimburse you. So I think uh, Jim brought it up last year, I, um, last month, um, on occasion, if you've he, done that or somebody else has done it and didn't bring it to our attention, there's no way we know that they're doing sure. it. So as long as you bring us those receipts and we want you to bring the receipts, it, we have the money for it, we want to reimburse all the chefs. Mm -hmm. the, um, does that work for all the stuff, like when we have the community dinners? How's that work? Money it's, it's for the, yeah, it's for the same system. It's the same. If the chef is doing something for us, we are reimbursing the chef for any money. There are some, a couple of chefs who do not want, they want to do it as a giving back to the community. Okay. Giving back. So they do not send in receipts. They have told us they don't expect to and they don't want to. And so it's, that's their choice. But for any other chef, for whether it's community supper, whether it's, everyday lunches um they will get reimbursed and, and what line i'm afraid to ask what line item is that on and that big meals. so meals. it's, a, it's okay. yeah it's a, it's kind of a um it's, it's kind of a dance between the congregate meal line item and uh revolving fund because we put the money that we get into the revolving but we use it out of the congregate so uh it's i kind of use it and say if it almost covers itself it just comes in and out of the revolving fund if it looks like we're spending a lot more um, money than we're getting in i put it out i take it out of the calendar again and how, how does it look looks looks, oh, fine. It looks really yeah well because at the end of the year we're pretty much we pretty much have no congregate um money left okay i think we're down to like oh good oh wow so okay we, we spend it well all right 
Okay, so we're going to go to five dollars on the on the other meals. Uh, I How many I, of those are there? It seems like uh, quite a few. Yeah, yeah. some day, some times are more than others, mm -hmm. um, but usually there there could be anywhere between four and eight um, on a regular day. Um, yeah, so it's become more and more popular. The more people realize that they can do that, yeah. they um, they take advantage of it. So. But it is more work to get it set up yeah. to and separate. The, oh, the it's, 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 it's a pain in the neck to do them. It's a, yeah. yeah, simply because you're trying to serve the people serve in the dining room, and yeah. at the same time, people are waiting. Yeah, the cost of the, of the supplies for that. So yeah, I think that's reasonable. I mean, is it is it is it uh, awkward enough where where you might want to set up a time for that? Like you do the go go meals at twelve thirty. Uh, yes, I think we've told people now don't come to uh, before twelve fifteen. Okay. That way we can set up yeah. before. And so that's the thing. It's a work in progress, as we know, as with things change. That is one of the things we've decided that. Um, and when was at and when people sign up for lunch, do they say whether or not it's. Uh, to go, they're supposed. To, they're supposed okay. to. I don't think it's that. We, we never try. Been asked. You, well, most people we, who we know who just come, yeah. uh, regular diners, we don't ask. But if they're uh, new to us, or uh, we should be asking every time. But if, somebody like who comes every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, yeah. Wednesday to go, okay. they like they don't know what we're talking. About. So <laughs> it is something we should be saying to everybody, though. Of course. Well, I don't see that anybody's going to kick about that. Yeah, hope not. Uh, and I think I mentioned it last time, but um, I was expecting to see it out on the community on the Cohasset website. But um, the kitchen coordinator, town manager, has definitely approved that, um, and we're hoping to get somebody. So if you know of anybody, a retired chef or retired um, somebody in the food service industry who might be interested, um, I'm expecting it to be about 15 hours a week. Somebody who can manage what we're doing in the kitchen and they're like the the head the head uh... well it's somebody who can supervise all of the volunteer chefs and, and what about when launch comes in are they believed that when launch comes or are they required for that too when no launch, i think well, launch up. is our own yeah okay. launch can do but they'll oversee make sure launch is doing a good job i i expect them to be saying looking at it and saying you know if it's not clean after launch leaves maybe they have the discussion with launch to say this is what we need to do in a real commercial kitchen you can't leave it you know with, yeah. uh, does launch get paid for doing that some of the no we do not pay them it's all the, and they do it as volunteers the, mm -hmm. the, the participants who do it some of the things around here we pay them but for uh, like the outside um but they come here to do volunteer and they know it and it's that's why we just treasure them mm -hmm. it's, it's left to oh I, I love it when launch comes <laughs> <laughs> well i didn't i haven't seen anything on the website about uh an offer a, a position yeah, I know. I just reached out, and, and I think part of that is um, because I sent it out, and uh, Elaine, I made mention of it this morning. There's been a problem with my emails, so one of my emails went out, and it didn't wasn't received for a week. Um, huh. How that happens, I don't know. Uh, so uh, there's been some I issue, and I haven't seen it, but I was told it was supposed to go up last week, so I'm working on it. Okay. Um, I wanted to uh, bring attention to some upcoming programs. We're having a comedian. I think Ooh, he'll be nice. really fun, uh, Johnny Peasy, uh, on July 19th. Uh, so if you can come, that would be great. Uh, I think we're getting a good, starting to get a good crowd uh, for that. It's co has a pizza house first and then a comedian. So it sounds like a good afternoon. And now, uh, again, I'm into the money after that report. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, how do we pay him? Or how do, uh, have our, we have a budget for programming? Okay. And it would come out of that. And then whatever five dollars you get, you know, the difference you pay out of that that budget. Okay. And we're not going to the bomb shelter, right? Okay, good. So, so far, we've been able. Well, to let's manage. see, Johnny. That. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is we really is bomb shelter, Rich, yeah, in case yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to tell you. Know we good. had one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taffy's house, maybe. Yeah, we're starting a new Rich, so we'll be we'll be okay. right. We'll be okay. Fine. Okay. Is it going to be catered? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Amy DeLillo, uh, we all know Amy. She comes and does um, the yoga uh, and meditation classes and anything like that. And she's going to put on a presentation of the health benefits of a good night's sleep, um, which seems to be very, people are 
so I'm very happy to, to be listening to that. Um, it, it, a lot of people could use that. Uh, so last month, 360 um, unique individuals, um, that's each individual who came, it's 360 of them. And as we can see from the number of over a thousand visits last month, those people come numerous times. So that's really always good to see. Um, and we've transported 50 residents to shopping, medical and other errands uh, for 254 rides in the month of June. And of those 50, 21 were medical related. Now, are the medical rides you or is that that other organization? It's the electric vehicle, well, uh, electric vehicle and social community action. And who's the, uh, what's what's the program that does the rides? Uh, fish. Not, fish, yeah. Well, Fish is the volunteers. Yeah. So we have volunteer drivers through Fish and we have social community action through the MAP, which is a grant funded program. And and now those, those are the 21? Yes. Okay, good. Those are pretty impressive numbers. That's a yeah. robust activity. We, we're, get, we're getting busier <laughs> and busier. And I think um, I people are starting to notice and we're, we have something actually, um, they start, we're just trying to get people to notice that we do offer this, like we're having farmer's market, trip to farmer's market um, in July for people who can't um, normally get there. Uh, so we're just trying to really open people's eyes to the fact that we do all these things. So many people call us for the first time and say, oh, I didn't know you did that. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, that's great. But now that you know we do that, now what else can we do for you? Mm -hmm. So. Um, it well, is, I, I think it's slowly, I, but it's getting people. I don't know how it works with, with Bobby Sylvia because I noticed <clears throat> during Bocce, for instance, we there's a couple of people that need transportation and they never play, play Bocce or they play for an hour or so. But apparently Bobby's making a special trip to come take them back. So at like 2.30? Yeah, so, and that's why we're trying to be flexible. We have, we try to keep the drivers here only when we need the demand for rides. Yeah. So they're usually done by two after lunch. Yeah. We never needed them. So when we have somebody who's here for bocce and it's later in the afternoon and it's only one person who needs a ride, we have to pay that driver to hang around and and be here and drive that person home. Um, so we're trying to cut it in the middle. We'll. We'll keep him a little bit longer, but not until the very end of Bocce, just so that we don't pay a yeah, driver right. hanging around. So we're trying to be flexible so that we don't ignore somebody's need for a ride. Um, and if there was more people, that would even be better because it would make more sense um, based on the demand to have. But uh, yeah, that, that's what we try to do in the afternoon. But the afternoons, primarily, we don't have the bin drivers because they're usually but, done by early afternoon. As people come and ask about it, should I say 2.30 is, the, is if, the... For the rides. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, I mean, I think they appreciate that. That was a surprise. Uh, so, by the way, they're not very good bocce players. So, we're happy no. to see oh, it's all right. Whether <laughs> <laughs> they get a ride or not. Yeah. Don't remember. The bus is coming. The bus is coming. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, the other, well, we brought it up before, and I still can't answer to people. We have one person who's up at Sunshine or whatever the name of the uh, retirement Sunrise. home is, Sunrise. Sunrise. Um, and she relies on other people to get transportation. And I know there's some sort of policy that we can't bring their people here, or, or I don't know, what, what, what is the policy? The policy is, and, and no senior centers do it for assisted living. Right. So it's just what the policy is, any um, need from the assisted living, because that's why they're there to be paying, to be taken care of. If they want their people or their residents to leave there, they have to provide trans transportation. And that goes for medical or social. So even though it's in Cohasset, we don't supply transportation um, for for the residents of there. And that's when we we hope and we rely on the people who are in the the in the uh, the community who want the people from the assisted living to join us to come. So if they wanted somebody to come in for a lunch, they would go take grab them, you know, drive them here and bring them here. But we do not do it as a as a strict policy because 
once we start. And we did try to do that through the MAP program, South Shore Community Action. And um, a couple of years ago we're, for transportation, we were able, we thought, okay, our policy is we can't take them up because it's through South Shore Community Action. And we were told once we, once they found out that we were taking um, people for, from the assisted living that we had to stop it. And that was per order of South Shore Community Action. Hmm. Um, and social elders. Have services. you had a discussion with Sunrise about? We have had numerous discussions. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's their issue. Would run it's yeah. their issue. It's they their have to run a yeah. over here. Like, they they say they provide transportation to people, but yes. then once you get them in there, they say, oh, but only if all of like they've transported oh, a, group. Yeah. a group, but oh. they won't transport individuals oh. because they say they don't have the. Uh, it's probably the chicken and the egg too. If they mm -hmm. if they brought them over here, sort of set, set it up like, hey, well. On this day, we'll take you over to look at like whatever day lunch is served. Or, well, they serve lunch, but anyway, more people would probably yes. do it. Yes. But yeah, I've heard various things like the whole assisted living thing is a whole mm -hmm. tricky mm -hmm. The whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> we do transportation. Do you do in, would you take somebody yes. to a council on aging? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's Cambridge, though. Mm. And that's single people. I mean, you're not taking the group. Right. I used to drive a lady yeah. from Sunrise. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. That was fish, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess I was contacted. Jeff used to drive fish from over there too. Right, hmm. and that's when we. And then when we found out from social community action, we couldn't even have any. We're not, not even fish. fish. Yeah, not <laughs> wow. even the volunteers. Really? So, hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the flat out policy now. Yeah. <laughs> this is a part of what they took her out. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the family are there for it. <laughs> Don't do it. That's not right either. Right, right, right. You know, either you. Yeah. Off the path. It's tricky. <laughs> yeah. Which happens a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, what's happening with your pergola? Uh, I'm waiting to hear from the. So last I met with. Um, the facilities, uh, Nick at, from facilities and uh, Glenn uh, Pratt, and they measured it off and they were supposed to get some bids on some construction costs and stuff. So they're. Does that hurt back? But, yeah, it's still in process. What happened to the tent? Was that not feasible? Uh, no, the tent, right. what we could do the tent, it's just that with the. Um, with the money that we could provide, could get. What we want to do is expand outdoor programming and uh the tent sometimes is too it's beautiful it, it, it works but it's also very cool and mm -hmm. so i figured if we had a pergola that we ha could have the um the sun so that when it wasn't too uh too hot to be outside and enjoying the outside and then uh, it, it comes with some and we could buy a um, special cover for it oh. and we could also cover it up so that we could be there under light rain or full sun mm -hmm. um so we decided not to do the um, tent so that we could focus on the pergola. Um, and that's what, and a lot of times when we were doing it for lunch, people would say, oh, we can't be out here, it's too cold because uh -huh. the sun was yeah. not strong enough or, or it was so strong they wanted to be under the shade but then it's yeah. too chilly. So anyway, we were focusing on that, but it's going to take a lot longer than the summer to get that mm. work. Pardon? Nope, I'm just saying to myself, it's a better situation than the tent. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a I, permanent, more of a, and it's definitely yeah, a permanent, permanent solution. Yeah. And I, um, from what I understand and from pictures that I've seen, and, and that's why Glenn is so happy to be involved in it, is when they originally envisioned this building, a pergola was attached and was huh. expected to be on there. So, nice. But this would be a freestanding pergola, not one from the, from the building. Has anybody solved the lighting problems in the back of the kitchen there with the timer that was turning them on and off every 10 seconds? <laughs> they were supposed to have um, taken care of that problem. And we're still, the dining room is still the same way. We're still, still doing, doing it. it and doing that. God save us from technology. Mm -hmm. huh. That does it too. Yeah, that isn't crazy. That's, I mean, crazy. Yeah. That's a dangerous situation. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's an old fashioned light switches. Right. Yeah, None. they worked fine for 100 years. Now, all of a sudden, we've got to change it. It's like these classes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anything else? 
uh, for me. Um, okay. Unless you have any questions. Any uh, any issues with the director's report? When I get a motion, I move to accept. Second. 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 Discussion on the motion. On the motion. On the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Ayes have it. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Now it's just open for general discussion. Any issues? Any anything to bring up? How's the pool going? Ah, the soldiers in. People are very happy. The um, new um, snap shack is functioning and going very well. Swim team won their meet, did extremely well. So we're very very pleased. On um, uh, right? Yeah, we have um, in the next week. I think in the next week. Uh, the uh, magazine Stroll is featuring us. So oh, great. Oh, oh, nice. oh, great. Yeah, so we're really, really pleased. Um, the triathlon is in the works and that will be the end of July um, for the youngsters. It's a, a triathlon for, for children. And um, nope, we're doing very well. Our, y, our WSI program, which is our teaching program is absolutely full, which wow. is delightful. Yeah. Well, Can't it's funny because um, Marianne from Bocce goes up there and does some aerobics yes. at one o'clock and then yes. takes a shower and runs down and plays Bocce for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. So yeah. she really enjoys that. So uh, yeah, it's it's a really good program. And Martha's done it for, I think, three years, three or four years. And she, she does a great, great job. Yep. Hmm. Neat. Yep. And the solar's working out well up there? So it's working beautifully. We can't believe it. It's bringing it up between 15 and 20 degrees. Wow, that's wow. more than expected. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Like a hot tub. No, not necessarily. <laughs> but it's better than the cold, cold at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, sure. That's the other thing. Our master swim um, is um, going like crazy. It's full. And uh, uh, Bill, the gentleman that's working it, he said he can't believe some of these people he didn't even know existed. And they're Cohasset residents, and they've come out to uh, do a master swim, which is is super. Because that's your that, that that lap swim. That's yeah. lap swimming. Okay. And what, yeah. how do you keep how do you keep the other people out of the lanes? Uh, because it's before seven a.m. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So we're very pleased. It's 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 turning out to be a very very good season. And we have absolutely fabulous employees this year, which is just really nice. Oh, great. good, because I know you were quite concerned putting the pool back together and all the renovations and everything. But it's right. good. You look, you look a little more relieved than you did in uh, May. You think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, plus I got up and went on a cruise for two weeks, so I just came back. Oh, well, that'll, that'll do it. Well, nice. somebody's got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard it's to good. take. Next, next year, you're going to go for the liquor license up there, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. No, I don't think so. No, no. Gee, I took a, uh, a Viking cruise, though, up to uh, Scandinavia. Oh, wow. oh was it, it great? Was, it was the most, I would recommend it to anybody anywhere. Oh, wow. It was absolutely fabulous. We did all the Scandinavian countries. So we did five countries and we did five islands. So it was wow. It was amazing. I had never known as much about Finland as I do now, and uh, Sweden and Denmark and uh, Norway, and it's. Uh, we went to uh, Berlin, to Germany, and to Poland. Oh and wow! So it was quite the trip, and it was um, very eye-inspiring. I could I could tell you more about Vikings than I ever thought I could in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it was very interesting, and I think how. How the world perceives um, different aspects of what's going on in the world, as far as discussions and politics and wars and all that, it's it, it would be wonderful if we could have a more open forum somehow between countries because we saw some things that I actually had no idea even existed, um, and yet uh, when we were in Finland, we were amazed at how how really. Um, cautious they are because the Russians are right next door. I mean, li you literally can look across and and <laughs> see them. So it was um, it was quite a quite a education along with everything else. So it was it was delightful. 
And they have four pools, by the way. What? They had four swimming pools. Wow. Ah. <laughs> I used them all. <laughs> My son's in uh, Lithuania, and he had to last month. He had to go to Germany for a month to, to train all the uh, all the border countries: uh, yes. Poland, uh, Lithuania, Romania, yep. Czechoslovakia. Yep. He just kept rattling them off. They're getting all new tanks, or they got all new tanks. So he had yep. to teach him all the particulars about the new tanks. Yep. Uh, so apparently they're in the Ukraine now. I don't know why they're not. They haven't. They haven't brought these other guys in. I don't know whether it's just the anticipation that the, these border countries are coming into the war, or if they're coming into the war. So I don't I think, think I don't think they're planning to. But they're all they're all very very aware of NATO, and they're all um, doing a very good job of making sure that all the countries are um, are in NATO and that are functioning well. Because apparently yeah. that's a big plus for the free world. Yeah. Well, he said it was just amazing all the different languages he had to deal with. Yeah. And, you know, he speaks yeah. Bostonese, and that's it. <laughs> so, uh, but there were several interpreters. You just didn't know if the word was getting crossed or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only country that kind of disappointed me, and it wasn't the countryside, it was the city, was Germany. Uh, I, Berlin, I was not impressed. They are very, um, it's a very cold atmosphere it's a very business-like cold atmosphere it's not a warm fuzzy at all and they're rebuilding and what they're doing is also very symmetrical very plain very cold i i give it compared to the other countries uh but that's typical of germans having grown up as one um they're <laughs> also very stawed staged to the point kind of thing and it shows in what they're doing to rebuild their city. But we need them as well as we need everybody else. So yeah. I, I spend a little bit of time in Munich, but it's not like that at all. Munich yeah. is a party town. So yeah. Yeah. I spent some time in Hamburg and it was it's great. Yeah. It was, it was I think great. it was just the city, yeah. um, to be honest with you. Just just the city. And they're trying to preserve some of um the Russian. Uh, in not an invasion, but the east-west issue, they're trying to save some of that for posterity. But on the other hand, they're trying to rebuild the city. <laughs> yeah, um, we were also pleased to see they were having um, the World Olympics um, for the disabled. Um, this, this yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Special Olympics. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, really special Olympics. It was. It was yeah, it's already been. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was really great. Uh, I, want, uh, I wanted to bring up that um, the Valor Act, as you all know, was passed a couple of months ago. It's supposed to be active as of July. Uh, I've been told I'm the director of the Valor Act, <laughs> but I have seen no documentation yet, nor application. And uh, I was promised that I would have them by July. And I, I was promised that in May, and I was promised that in June. I've been promised that in July, by the way. Uh, but yet to see it. Uh, but I know you're very interested, and we and I, I've talked to the people, the powers that be, and all your time would be qualified under this. All so, senior center time. Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah. Great. Mm. And I know that you've uh, submitted some opportunities. I don't know how we connect the veteran with with you to the opportunities. Um, and I'm not even sure how I'm going to interview the veterans to see what they want to do. So okay. we'll, we'll see. We'll play it all out. Is, is the application out there, though? No. Could, OK, no. so we'll be happy to share the word once we know so we can direct people to the application. And well, we could actually leave a few applications here, too. We just have to sure. get the word out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it on the website. And what is the Valor <laughs> yeah, Act? And, uh, the Valor Act is, is uh, veterans. Uh, qualified veterans, and by qualified, I mean there's a lot of uh, phonies out there, but real veterans have an opportunity to work for the town, to work volunteer hours for the town, uh, to do a real estate uh, write-off. So up to $1,500, and the, the rate, I think, is $15 an hour right. is what the, the rate is. But you don't get any money until the end of the, I think it's now in December they're going to do it. But They'll, they'll issue, you know, let's say you work 100 hours and that's $1,500. The town has to take some stuff out of it, uh, small taxes, and I'm not sure exactly what else. And then they issue you a check up to $1,500 uh, to take off your insurance. But 
I don't like it because you would check and it's a 1099 and you got to oh, pay taxes uh, on that no. check. So and they've already so, taken taxes out of it? No. No, they have. Didn't they say you just said they were going to? There's some other stuff. I don't. I mean, you're a town employees. What are some of the other? I, I think things? Obra. They Obra. take a okay. Obra. Oh, yeah. But I, it was under. Uh, okay. Unless this is different, because in Health. other towns that I was aware of, it they didn't give anybody a check. They would take out all the taxes, but they would credit the. I would think uh, they just credit, credit it the, on your tax. Right. right. They never gave. That's what I hope. But it's not. They, apparently, they hand you a check. That doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too. And, and then also, the other, what do they set out? What kind of jobs are? Well, no, that's part of the program. I mean, every department apparently, like like CEA, has been asked, "Do you have any veteran opportunities?" So they're supposed and they've to say these. Fed back really what opportunities they are. Then, as the applications come in, we'll try to somehow coordinate that. And I'm not even sure how we're going to keep track of the hours. And that's pretty. That's primarily my job. Well, here it's Back pretty easy because hours. you check in for all your, yeah, that's right. your time. It's dark. Right. Yeah, that makes it easy. But other towns I know have had veterans paint fire hydrants. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I don't know how they track those hours. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, that's all that stuff is, is the, the director of Valrac will straighten all of that out. Right. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you'll be the first well, to know when I'm ready to go. If you need any help with that. I'd be happy. Oh, sure. Yeah, you'd pick up some hours on that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> thought of that, but no, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes it's just you need another pair of eyes to do some stuff or make phone calls or something. I'd be glad to help. Right. And Rich, I'll be happy bye. to oh, bye, Tana. I'm happy bye. to help too. You know, we did a similar thing with that real estate tax abatement. Remember two years ago oh, yeah. we had some money in the budget and it really went through the um, town what is it, the um, assessment, assessor's office. Yeah, that's where I've been with me. Yeah, and Sarah was on the committee with myself and we went through and Tana and uh, they kind of ran the whole thing. They came up with the numbers. It's a little different. We sent out a notice to the town and asked people to send in a request to be part of this abatement process. No cash went through the individuals. It was all just applied against the real estate you know, bills. Well, I, so I'm, I'm working I'm, with the assessor's office, so maybe I'll fresh their memory yeah. about that because I don't like the idea of checks because of the, you know, paying taxes. It well, makes and, it, and that, that would be the scary part. You can you give somebody a check and they're in desperate need of paying their rent. They may not pay their taxes. So oh, sure I think the whole point yeah. for yeah. the town is to get their, you know, to well, lower your tax taxes money. And, yeah. pay, and pay the taxes. So, um, I, yeah. yeah. But I think that yeah. some of that money is because years ago we talked about setting up that program for the any kind of volunteer services by the elderly to have a credit applied to their real estate taxes for that Nancy mm -hmm. and when I looked at the details I haven't worked in it worked with it specifically but I believe that in that money that assessment is our rebate whatever you call it is taxable at the federal level but not at the state level that's what it looked like to me back then when I looked at it and I thought that might be one reason why the the town was dragging its feet on it, as well as it's kind of administrative nightmare. It's hard, like you say, it's going to be hard to monitor. But well, this is a state program, uh, and Massachusetts pays the fifteen hundred to the town. Yeah. Anything right. that the town pays, the, the state oh, okay. pays so the town. So I don't know why they can't just you know do it a line change on the on the on the, on the report. It sounds like a grant. Yeah. yeah. Right. We shall see. Yep. Okay. Anybody have anything else? No? We will not have a meeting in August, as is our, our uh, practice. We will meet again in September. Um, I had a question about that. Yeah. That's September 11th. Mm -hmm. oh. um, could we oh, meet maybe at 930? Uh, September. Oh, September 11th, here? that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, why 930? Because the ceremony is a quarter of nine. It's over by 9.30. Okay. That's fine Should with me. Say 10, just to be sure. 10 would be all right with me. But, sure. You know, 10? People have to go to work. Uh, can you check out the Zoom capability if we start at 10 in September? Because I know that was a problem one other time. Because oh, somebody else had Zoom. To make or, sure that we can still yeah. use it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I, well, let's, let's take a vote on that at uh, 10 a.m. If it works, we may want to talk about doing that uh, beyond September. And what's the ceremony before that? 
the, on the common, the common, you've been September 11th ceremony. Yeah, sit nine. Okay, that, that was that would work. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's uh, on that motion. Can we get a a, a second on the second motion? That motion. Uh, uh, discussion on the motion. On the motion. On the motion. Uh, all those in favor of meeting at 10 o'clock on September 11th, say aye. 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 Opposed? aye. Ayes have it. And Nancy will check that we can do the Zoom. Uh, uh, now, with the Zoom, if, if that's a hang up, are we required to do the Zoom for these calls, for these meetings? Um, when we first started, came back on, that was the requirement. I can double check that as well. Yeah, yeah we may I thought not it was extended to. again. I thought it was extended again. Extended. That you had to yeah. I know everybody's doing it, the community, the, but I don't know if it's just. Yeah, it's, I mean, when it. they declared COVID done, you think it was done, but then I think the state is, but you'll have to double check. I, I, I will double check. And I think the town manager likes it anyway. He, he likes to have open um, mm -hmm. of meetings and for anybody to be able to watch it. So I don't know if that even if the state has rescinded that, whether or not the town manager wants that to be changed, but I will definitely. Well, if, if the Zoom's a problem for September 11th at 10 o'clock, see if we can get a one-time dispensation not to have Zoom so we can okay. at least do, you know, something like that. Okay. All right, can we get a motion to adjourn? So move. No. Okay. Uh, on the motion? On the motion? On the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Great. We'll see you September 11th at 10 o'clock. Beautiful. Thank you. Nice.